United Arab Emirates is expected to make a statement later today about the British academic Matthew Hedges. It was announced on Wednesday that Mr Hedges had been jailed for life on spying charges, but there are now suggestions of a breakthrough in the case. Well, I'm joined now by our correspondent Alistair Sanford here in the student studio. <coughs> We're getting an impression, Alistair, and tell me if this is right or wrong, that the mood music might be changing slightly and possibly in the favour of Matthew Hedges. Yes, Isabel, I think there are certainly hopes that this can be resolved. Uh, how soon uh, remains to be seen. Of course, on Wednesday we had uh, outrage and shock at this uh, life sentence issued to Matthew Hedges and the Foreign Secretary Jeremy Hunt said if this wasn't resolved there would be serious diplomatic consequences. The tone has now changed. Last night Jeremy Hunt tweeted this, I think we can have a look. He said he'd seen Matthew Hedges' wife and also the ambassador and had had a constructive conversation with the Foreign Minister and he goes on to say I believe and trust he's working hard to resolve the situation as soon as possible. We have a close partnership with the UAE which will help take things forward. Now also the Emirates have also said that they're determined to protect what they call <coughs> an important strategic relationship with a key ally and they hope to find an amicable solution. So certainly this is being seen as an olive branch uh, from uh, the Emirates. Several officials there are also stressing the rights of Matthew Hedges to appeal uh, and also the families have a right to appeal uh, for presidential clemency. So certainly the tone is changing here. So the tone might be changing, but the UAE has staunchly defended its position, hasn't it? Yes, it issued a very long statement yesterday. Here it is from uh, the foreign ministry. It goes on to more than one page. Let me just go through it, mm -hmm. some of the points that are important. It says the judiciary is independent. It respects the rule of law. It's vital the government does not attempt to interfere in court cases. Uh, it defends the fact that the hearing was very brief, saying the substance had been decided earlier. It says Matthew Hedges was treated fairly. Uh, he was treated well in detention with medical and family visits. He had proper representation and translators. And it's not true that he was asked to sign documents he didn't understand. Now, some of that is contested. The family says he was in solitary confinement for five and a half months and had no legal help. Uh, and also human rights campaigners have said there is sometimes a suspicion over 